Sun on the IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Brentwood today for the first MTK London show with me. I've got Johnny Royce, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, big show tonight. It's a great show. The people have come out in, in uh, big numbers supporting the show. The great fights, it's been really well organised. The lads have done an absolutely amazing job getting us to this position. And uh, we're really proud to uh, say that we're affiliated with them, which is great. Obviously, um, as people can tell, you're from uh, up north in the Manchester region. Yeah. Um, MTK Manchester's booming uh, up that end, but in London you've come down and you've brought a bit of spark with you. Well, the way that we see it, it's all one family. So location is, is, isn't important. And who does what job isn't really important. We all just muck together. So if they need me down London, I'll be down London. If they need me anywhere else, we go wherever we needed. But the same family you'll see all over all of our shows. Same family, all working toward the same goal. Uh, obviously, I know that Deco Geraghty was with you for for a while, mm -hmm. um, and then moved on back to where wherever he went. Yeah, we had a tough fight uh, last weekend. Uh, what did you make of it? Um, Tennyson is a very good boxer, very good boxer, very good um, at what he does, putting pressure on. Declan is an absolute class act and what he'd done there, I, I wouldn't suggest that he would have had a different result if he was anywhere else. That was just how it was on that day. But I know Declan and Declan has got the heart of a lion. He will be back and he will be back a hell of a lot stronger. Um, tomorrow, well, tonight, Slash tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Michael Conlon, the, the pride of air, the, 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 the Irish sensation, yeah. fights in New York, the, yeah. the whole of the English press are out there, MTK are out there, yeah. he's representing, Macklin's out there. That's it. Um, how big is he? He's huge and he's only going to get bigger. He's got the skills to match the management and to match the promotional um, platform that he's on. The sky's the limit with him. I do not know where he could end up, but I know it's going to be somewhere special. He's a very good, all of his family are talented, but he's got a little something about him, which is why everyone's supporting him and he's carrying the flag. Obviously, we see the Jamie last week and every fight he's in ends up in some sort of fight of the year contender because he ends up in absolute war. But Michael obviously has got a bit of class about him. He's a two-time Olympian. He is, he, he is what he is, the stage he's on is because he's achieved what he's achieved. Yeah. Um, on, I, I think, to be honest, um, yeah, there are a bit contrasting styles uh, with uh, Jamie. Jamie is, is, is an absolute warrior and his eyes are a bit of a problem. But to be honest, I have to watch him when he's doing shadow boxing, his skin is that thin could probably cut himself shadow boxing but it wouldn't stop him I'm looking in his eyes when I'm working with him and when I'm working on his cuts he's not bothered if he's cut or not he just wants to get in there and have a war and he does that and he nine times out of ten or pretty much ten times out of ten he comes out on top so uh, he's, a, he's a fantastic oh, he said today that um, you know, nine times out of ten he feels more nervous when his brother's fighting than when he is yeah, yeah. which is what most Boxers That's fine, like as, as a natural instinct, when their brothers are fighting, they yeah. find more nervousness. Yeah, you, you can't really do anything to help the outcome. Whereas when we're fighting, we can do something within some kind of control. Um, but believe you me, his uh, brother's in good hands. His brother can uh, look out for himself. Let me tell you. So well, I, I obviously hope so. But obviously, he's in the right hands out there in America, in you know, LA. But. Um, Tonight slash tomorrow morning, we'll, we'll find out what the deal is. But obviously, Golovkin and Jacobs, that's a, a big fight there as well. Obviously, on the thing, what, what are you making that? Um, good fight. Um, I put my money on Golovkin. I've been in the opposite corner with him, with Martin Murray, and I could hear at first hand what them punches sound like the kind of a weight, the kind of accuracy. He's a monster. He's a monster. He punches like, I'd say, a cruiserweight. Possibly heavier, but yet still, he's the way he is. He's an animal. An animal. Jacobs will have to do something special. Uh, he's already done that in overcoming cancer and still keeping in the ring. But will have to do something uh, even more amazing than that if he's going to win this fight. But like you said, obviously, Jacobs is a true champion because yeah. of what he's come through, and obviously, I respect yeah. as a person, as everyone does. But 
a big, big, big old task he's got ahead of him. But uh, obviously, we, we're watching continue. But obviously, Michael Conlon for me and you is the, is the main priority. Mate, one hundred percent. But it's not just for this fight. He has longevity with his age, with his ability, with his um, background um, management, promotional wise. He's the real deal, and he will be for years to come too. While the next generation comes up behind him. Well, we we, we, we yet to see, we, but hopefully we will. But um, listen, all right. Well, thank you for the time, OTV. I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon. But until then, thank you for your time. Take Bye -bye. care.